In a country where the share of multiracial children has multiplied tenfold in the past 50 years, it's a good time to take stock of our shared vocabulary when it comes to describing Americans like me. Jeannie Fan for NPR It's the summer of 1998 and I'm at the mall with my mom and my sister Anna, who has just turned five. I'm seven. Anna and I are cranky from being too hot, then too cold, then too bored. We keep touching things we are not supposed to touch, and by the time mom drags us to the register, the cashier seems a little on edge. They're mixed, aren't they, she says. I can tell by the hair, mom doesn't smile, and mom always smiles. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, she says. Later, in the kitchen, there is a conversation. Children aren't ice cream, mom tells us. She's smashing chickpeas on the counter. Anna and I shove Doritos into our mouths, sensing trouble. Falafel is a classic Donnelly family tension dinner. You're not some chocolate vanilla swirl cone, mom says. You're human children, mixed, I now understand, is an insult. Things are mixed, not people. It was the bearded black guy who coached our basketball teams growing up. Courtesy of the Donnelly family for the next decade or so, I proceed to not think of myself as mixed. Fortunately, my hometown is small enough that I almost never have to explain my background, everyone knows my parents. Dad is the bearded black guy who speaks softly and coaches Little League, and Mom is the bespectacled white lady who explains things passionately and organizes the Hebrew school carpool. When I get to college, I tack up a photo of Mom and Dad in my dorm room, show up to Office of Black Student Affairs and Hillel events in equal measure, and let my friends do the math. Mixed is not in my vocabulary. I hear it in passing, but shrug it off like any casual slur. When, what are you, does come up, via strangers at the gym, on the bus, in Taco Bell, I take a deep breath and dive in. Well, my mother's paternal grandmother emigrated to the US from what would now be called Ukraine, I begin, to the dismay of everyone involved. I'm thrilled to pieces when my little boo from Degrassi makes it big and I can finally say, you know Drake. I'm like him, I get through grade school and college assuming polite society agrees with my mom, that calling someone, mixed, is dehumanizing and intrusive. But at work one day, I see a copy of a book called Mixed Me, floating around. It's by dreamboat actor Tay Diggs, who is black and had a kid with Adina Menzel, aka Queen Elsa from Frozen, who is white. I'm shocked to see that word in big crayon letters scrawled across the cover of a kid's book. Fashion designer Sonia Smith-Kong sits with actor Tay Diggs as he reads his book, Mixed Me, to children in Los Angeles in 2015. Vian Kililia, Getty Images for Mixed Up Clothing Inc. I pointed out to my teammates on Code Switch, folks who traverse the very frontiers of race, culture and ethnicity for a living, expecting an outpouring of finely worded indignation. To my surprise, no one cares. Stuff like this keeps happening. A coworker talks about the adorableness of mixed babies. A multiracial friend posts an article about dating as a mixed girl on Tinder. I come across a line of hair care products at Target called Mixed Chicks, and even I have to admit it's a catchier name than shampoo for women with ancestry from multiple parts of the world whose hair isn't traditionally catered to in mainstream beauty products. I don't want to start throwing around pejoratives willy-nilly, but it would be nice to have a single syllable answer the next time someone asks, what are you? But first, I need answers. Is mixed a slur, or what? Where does it come from? Who is it for? More broadly, who gets to decide which words work and which are verboten? There are very few spaces left in America where calling someone a mulatto wouldn't elicit some serious side eye, but, for a long time, the word mulatto, like Negro or Oriental, was largely a non-issue. So what makes one term fall out of favor, and another take off? In a country where the share of multiracial children has multiplied tenfold in the past 50 years, it may be a good time to take stock of our shared vocabulary when it comes to describing Americans like me. A diversity of terms I start digging into the history of that vocabulary, over time and around the world. It turns out we've had a dizzying multitude of monikers, many of which are offensive. Skip ahead if you want to avoid some of the worst, otherwise, here we go, Mulatine, Mulattoes, Mestizes, Mestios, Blended, Biracial, Interracial, Multiracial, Multiethnic, Grey, High Yellow, Half-Breed, Mixed-Breed, Cross-Breed, Mutt, Mongrel, Mixed-Blood, Mixed-Race, Mixed-Heritage, Quadroon, Octoroon, Hoppa, Pardo, Sambo, Half-Crack,